everybody. Okay, let's get this thing installed and see how it works. The first thing you need to do is take out the laser connection on the back of your 4040. Next up is to take the supplied cable from the relay box. In this case for the 4040, it is cable A and plug it into where the laser used to attach to the 4040. Then take the other end of that cable and plug it in to the PWM in port. Next up is the power cord for the relay box. Go ahead and plug that in and plug it into the power. Now if you have a laser, go ahead and take the other end of the laser cable that you had unplugged and plug it into the out port, PWM out port of the relay box. Overall, this is a really quick and easy setup. I think the hardest thing for me was actually figuring out where I'm going to put the relay box. Here I'm checking to make sure that everything is working. I'm turning on the spindle to see if it's going to start and turn off when I turn off the program. Next up I wanted to make sure that the laser was going to work as well so I went into light burn and tested that and it worked great. Playing with the relay switch I noticed that it doesn't matter if you push the relay button or the power button in the back the laser stays on. So unless you push the button, the power button on the 4040 or on your CNC to turn the CNC off, the laser will still have power. So the switch in the back of the box only works for the plugs for your router. It does not power off your laser. While using your laser, you will want to press the relay switch in the front to turn the blue light off so your router does not turn on while using the laser. I highly recommend getting this switch. It is very well made. The outer box is made out of steel. It is very sturdy. If you're somebody who would like the convenience of being able to turn on your router when you press go, or if you have forgotten to turn your router on as you're starting a project, then I definitely recommend this switch.